see or if you're going to see separation from your goalies between your goalies. Mm -hmm. Have you seen that? Uh, where, well, how would you assess where they're at? I, I think both of them have played really, really well, um, which I think is what my thought process was going in. Is I think we have two guys that uh, both have proven at different times to be elite and both can be elite. And I think they've both played very, very well throughout camp. I also think that you you make decisions every day and, and you evaluate every day, but the larger the sample size, uh, the better decisions you're allowed to make. So we'll keep watching them um, and we'll keep letting, uh, giving them a chance to play and, and either create separation or, uh, as it's been so far, both play really well. With Howard specifically, I know you weren't here last year, but are you seeing just in the, in the, in the two, three games that he's played, it's more consistency or what are you seeing that's, that, that, that's different? Uh, well, I, the second half last year. Yeah, I mean, I was going to say that. I think from the first, like, I've watched a lot of the Red Wings games over the last three years, and I think that, you know, Jimmy's been at different times really, really good. I think, obviously, uh, the first half of last year was an all-star for a reason. He was having an elite year. Uh, I, you, you never know how guys come back from injuries. You never know how they feel. Um, I just, what I see right now is a guy who uh, looks confident. Um, I see Jimmy Howard, uh, that I believe Jimmy Howard is. He's uh, he's patient in the net. You know, pucks are sticking to him. He looks confident, and he's making uh, big saves at big moments. To me, that's what great goalies do. Is the schedule in October especially kind of going to, I mean, there's plenty of playing minutes every weekend. You're probably going to see one and then the other from yeah. all the back-to-backs. We're going to need both of them. There's no doubt. Early part of the year, we're going to need both of them to be good. We have uh, more back-to-backs than probably uh, you know, teams have seen in a long time. So we're going to need both of them for sure. And I think that, again, I'd rather have a lot of great players at every position. And I think we've got two uh, real good goalies. So, we probably, so when you name an opening night starter, probably is going to be the People probably shouldn't read too much into it, basically, because they're both going to play a lot. Yeah, probably. correct. Well, like that opening week, and I'd assume yeah. both of them will play, you know, and, and uh, I don't want to get ahead of myself, but that's what the, 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 if I looked out in the future, that's what I'd say. And so, um, you know, I think they're both going to get opportunities to play, not only throughout the rest of the preseason, but as we move into the beginning of the regular season. What other impressions did you get from last night's game? Um, well, I thought we did a, I thought, well, I mean, Jimmy Howard was great. And the difference in the game was probably Jimmy was, was really good. Not that you know, Tuka wasn't, but Jimmy was really good. Um, but I thought we played really well. I thought, you know, a lot of our, uh, I just thought as a group, not much happened in the first, but I thought we created enough chances. Well, I thought we gave up a few too many chances. We we're going to tighten up uh, defensively. Uh, the other thing is is we didn't take as many penalties, but we still took too many stick penalties where our sticks were around guys' waist and hookings, and so we got to eliminate that for sure. You talked about Kendall a little bit yesterday. I mean, could a guy, you know, he keeps on talking. You know, there's kind of like a fresh start type thing with him, it seems like, or mm -hmm. breath of new, you know, breath of new for sure. Do you believe in that? I mean, do you think a guy could thrive maybe in a new, under a new regime, so to speak, or something like that? I, th I think, I, I think every year is different for every player, right. and I think. In, in both ways. One, sometimes when it hasn't gone as well, uh, every year's a chance to, to have a good year and vice versa. Uh, you certainly can have a rest on your laurels in this league because somebody's always chasing you from behind. So I think, you know, Kendall's been a, he's got a lot, he's got a good ability. Um, he needs to continue to go out and execute at a high level. He has so far for us. Uh, Paul Kinnan skated today. Um, I did, haven't got an update after he skated, but he did skate today. Green skated today, uh, the full practice, so that's a good step in the right direction. We will not play him tomorrow. You know, we were hoping to play him on Friday. Helm? Helm did not skate today, so I don't know if there's, uh, you know, again, we'd like to skate him by the end of the week this week and, and hopefully get him in a position where he can go full next week. So, But he did not skate today, so hopefully maybe tomorrow, but I don't know that answer. Would be good. I mean, you're kind of hoping Elmer will get a game before the regular season. I, he, Elmer will not get a game before the regular season. Before he, the regular season, no. He'll he'll skate at best at the end of the week, and then and then hopefully have a good week of practice. What I want for 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 Elmer to be able to play open night is to is to have a couple of good practices under his belt. He is a player that I think can do that though. Thank you.